Question 13 then from paper 2 of the 2021 Higher Maths resource paper. Section A, the last one in section A, the one with the vectors and the reconstellations, back to vectors here. So what have you got? You've got this three-dimensional wire model, this prism here. And it gives you the displacements, the vectors, which are just displacements because they tell you to get from point to point, getting displaced. It gives you the displacements for AB, BC and BF. And it also tells you that AB is twice DC. That move is twice that move. And from that, they're just looking for various, com the components of various other vectors, other displacements. So it says, first of all, what's CF? Well, it's only one mark, so you could just state it, I presume, I don't know. Because the Martin scheme's not very specific for this, because it wasn't a real exam. So, how can you get from C to F? Well, it's just, if you're a little spider wandering about this framework, how could you get from C to F? Ideally, following paths that you know. Well, you could go from C to B, because I know that path. It might be the wrong way around, but I know that path. I can go from C to B, and then from B to F. Because C to B is just the opposite of that. I'll just put it there. I can either put negative of it, or just go in and change them. Or maybe I'll just go in and just change them, because it's only the one mark. So it'll be the reverse of that. So it'll be 7, negative 5, negative 3. And onto that, I add BF, which stays the same, 7, 11, negative 2. And then this will give him my answer. So that's going to be 14. That's going to be 6. And that's going to be negative 5. And there's the first mark. B, hence or otherwise. Now, hence or otherwise usually means using what you've already done. Hence or otherwise express DF in component form. So now I'm at D and I want to go to F. Oh, I, don't, I already knew how you get from C, so all I've got to do is go to C and then I'm home. So df is just going to be dc, plus what I did already. That'll take me there, that'll give me the moves. So, what's dc? Here it's here. dc is half of ab. So it's going to be a half of ab. Should I state that first? It's going to be a half of ab. Followed by... CF. So maybe I'll just half them on the spot because again it's only the one mark. Now AB was 8, negative 4, 6, so that'll be half of that. 4, negative 2, this is beginning to run out. 4, negative 2, 3, and that one we just did, so that was the hence part. 14, 6, negative 5. So this will give me this answer now. So that's going to be 18. That's going to be 4, and that's going to be negative 2. So that was that mark. Now in part C, it's talking about this point Q. Q lies in the line AD, but it's not going to be anything like a section of a line, because it tells you this. It says, given that QF is 1750. So now I've got QF to add to this. So QF is 1750. Find QD. Well, if you know QF and you know DF, I've forgotten which one I'm looking for. I'm looking for QD. So I'm just going to put that down, QD. So I remember QD. Well, I can construct this because I know how to get from Q to F. They just told me. I know how to get. I know also know how to get from D to F. So I could pair them together. So I know that Q D going from Q to D would be the same as going from Q to F, which I know they just told me, and then going from F back to D. Just make a little displacement equation there. Right. So they told me that one. That was 1750. Now, F to D is the reverse of this, but that's easy enough. You just put it the other way around. So it'll be minus 18, minus 4, and 2. So that now gives me this answer. That'll be negative 1, 1, 2. 
Oh, there's two barks. The first one was for just realising you could make that little pathway up. That's what you did the rest of the menu. And then the mark for getting the answer. 